Hello and welcome to Strange Solution. My name is Darren, I am your host, and I'm playing Arkham Horror the Living Card Game in Lackey CCG. I am playing as Woman Withers through the Path of Carcosa, um, and I am up to the Phantom, uh, pardon me, a Phantom of Truth. Um, the last change I made is I took out, I had 4 XP after, um, after the Asane Asylum, and I uh, took out a Holy Rosary and a Persuasion and put in a Protective Incantation, and <coughs> pardon me, a Jewel of Areolas. Um, and there I am. And also, as a note, I still didn't put the Black Onyx clasp in my, in the, in this screen, but it, it is part of my deck as an FYI. <coughs> Our meeting, let's go ahead. Um, we will read and then we will, uh, take our mulligan. So we're in Agenda 1A, the first night. As you step off the train in Grer d'Orsay, the sun sinks below the Paris skyline. You cannot waste any time if Nigel Ingram is somewhere in Paris. You have to find him and wring the answers from him one way or another. Uh, while you have more conviction than doubt, this agenda gains when checking the Doom Threshold, Doom on cards, other than this, this agenda... Subtract from the total doom and play instead of adding to it. I do have uh, more conviction. I have three conviction and two doubt as an FYI. So that is a thing. Act 2A, I'm on the per Parisian Conspiracy Volume 2, or Version 2, pardon me. You pass the Church of St. Barnabé as you exit the train station and cannot help but overhear the organ playing is... There a sermon this late in the evening? You marvel at the wild and strange chords for a moment before continuing. Paris is a big city, and you have very few leads. Uh, there are two objectives. You can spend the requisite number of clues to advance, or at the end of the round, if there are three or more doom in play, you can advance, and it takes two clues per investigator. Uh, we are at the Guerre d'Orsay. It is a forced travel location with one clue per investigator. It is Paris and rail traded, and it has the action spend one resource, move to any rail location. We'll go ahead and take our mulligan. Of course, we replace any weaknesses. I think I'm going to just keep uh, Milan. And we'll discard the rest of that and draw one, two, three, four. <coughs> I'll shuffle that the rest of that back in my deck, and we will reveal the top card of the deck. Uh, this is often an FAQ. If you happen to draw a weakness, you have actually passed the setup phase, um, so you would draw it. Hmm. I would kind of like shriveling because enemies are a big problem in this game. Um, so I th think my first action is going to be play Shriveling. I'm going to fast action play Working a Hunch to get that clue. I will move to the gardens of Luxembourg, Luxembourg, <coughs> pardon me, it's action two. The gardens of Luxembourg are a three-shot location with one clue per investigator and a victory value of one. Uh, it says while a Bayaki enemy is moving, if there is an investigator at gardens of Luxembourg, that enemy's location is considered to be connected to the gardens of Luxembourg. My final action will be to investigate at a five to three. Uh, that's the skull. The skull is a minus X for X is the amount of doom in play, so that's currently a zero. So I gain that clue. We will spend the requisite number of clues, which is two, to advance. 
Pardon me. If you spend clues to advance, the organ you heard earlier continues to haunt you. No matter where you are, the torturous chords play over and over in your head. The sensation that you're being watched tags at your mind. Spawn the set aside the organist enemy at the location furthest from all investigators. On the hopeless I defied him side face up. And then we're going to advance to Act 2A, Stalk by Shadows. Uh, this is the organist, Hopeless I Defied Him. He is a 5 combat, 0 health, with 3 agility. I'll figure out where to put him in a moment. I think it's going to be here, though. I'll see. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we can put him in any place. So we'll actually just go ahead and put him here. We'll go ahead and we'll read him in a moment. We'll go ahead and put out Pursuing Shadows, and then we'll just read everything that we just put out. Pursuing Shadows is Act 2A. The chords that echo in your mind, the chords that echo in your mind, the infernal man whose organ playing intrigues and terrifies you. Perhaps there is a connection between the shadowy presence and the king in yellow. As a reaction, after you successfully attack the organist, an investigator at your location may place one of his or her clues on the organist. Group limit one clue uh, times per round. So you can only put one clue on him per round. And the objective is if there are three clues on the organist, you advance. Um, in my play tests, uh, this this is usually this one usually gets me because it's just too much. Uh, the organist, uh, like I said, is a, has a combat of five, an agility of three. Um, he has the hunter keyword and cannot be damaged, forced. Um, after the organist moves for the from the hunter keyword, if it is unengaged, resolve its hunter keyword again. The organist cannot attack this phase uh, limit once per round, so that's only if he moves on his second try. So that completes the investigator phase, enemy phase. The organist will move from hunter, and then he'll move a second time from hunter. We trigger that again. We will upkeep. We will draw a card, which is this, I've got a plan, and gain a resource. We'll add a doom to the agenda and draw an encounter card, which is marked uh, by the sign as a pact. It is peril traded. It says revelation, test willpower of two. If you fail, you take two horror. The man on the pallid mask is in play. Horror dealt by this effect is considered direct horror. The difficulty of this test gets a plus two difficulty. It is not in play. So this will be a four to two. I'm going to just leave it at that. Uh, chaos bag, that's a minus one. So that's a success. So he's going to end up here. I go one, two. See, here's the problem at this point is I need three clues. Plus, then I need to be able to um, attack him. I need to be able to withstand three rounds of attacks from him. He does three each round. So that's nine, and I can only take one. Or I can only take eight, so yeah, he's he's a toughie. If, if, if I would have gamed it a little bit more, which I'll be honest, I've played this the least amount, I probably would have focused more on the one where you chase him down and have to evade him to get it and then attack him, because uh, I don't know that I would have cared, uh, but I really didn't necessarily want a trauma, but... And every time I've, uh, in my every one of my play tests, I've had a trauma. So, um, all right, let's just take my three actions. So we'll go uh, one to go to the Notre Dame. It is a three shroud location with one clue per investigator. Each enemy at Notre Dame gets minus one fight and plus one evade. It has the action test intellect of six if you succeed. Either place one Doom on the current agenda or re remove one Doom from the current agenda. I actually would kind of like to make the agenda go faster, but boy, howdy, that's that's a tough test, and he's going to be here next turn. Um, and I really kind of want to keep this so that I can get him. So that was action one. Um, I could investigate here. He's going to end up there, and then I can move. 
So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to investigate here out of five to three. So that'll be action two. Chaos bag. That's the tablet. Um, I did not commit any cards, so that puts me at a two. It's a three, so that's a fail. My final action, I will move uh, to uh, Le Marais. And that is a one shroud location with one clue per investigator. After you enter Le Marais for the remainder of this round, you cannot leave it. Uh, that's actually fine because uh, we were done with our turn anyway. Uh, the enemy phase, the organist will move from the hunter keyword. He'll move to here. He'll move from the hunter keyword again, so that puts him in Notre Dame. We will draw a card, which is anatomical diagrams, and gain a resource. I think that's going to be probably the next card I start to get rid of, although it is kind of helpful against the Bayaki, but really only if you get one. Um, once you get like multiples, it really doesn't help. We will add a Doom. And draw an encounter card, which is frozen in fear. That is not what we wanted to see right now, because getting some movement going is is pretty helpful. Um, see, he's going to come to us next round, and then we don't have a way to really deal with him. We just start taking horror. We can hit him once because we'll have one clue. We can hit him once and put one clue on him. I mean, I could grab this clue and then move here, and then he's going to go one and then move to me. I guess I could potentially evade him. Okay, we're going to try and grab this clue out of 5 to 1. That's a minus 2, that's a success. Then we'll use two actions to move. It takes two actions because of Frozen and Fear. We'll move to my mantra. My mantra is a two shot location with one clue per investigator. It is Paris and rail traded. Um, it has the action spend one resource, add one supply or ammo token to a card you control. Uh, nope, no charges, so that's not really helpful to me. We will make this test out of four to three. We're going to just go for it. Chaos bag is a minus one, so that gets rid of it. Anyway, upkeep phase, we'll draw a card. Boo-hoo-hoo, that is overzealous. I'm actually going to go ahead and draw, because the next card would come up after this gets drawn. <coughs> so I'll draw the top card of the encounter deck, which is another drawing the sign. So this would be a 4 to 2. Chaos bag, what do you have to say about that? That is a minus... Two, so that's actually a success. That gains surge. Ugh. Attached to your location, it gets doom. Or it puts doom on the location. So that just makes this harder to to click off because now they're like equal to each other. Enemy phase. Um, organist will move. From Hunter, and then he'll move from Hunter again and uh, engage me. At least he doesn't attack. Upkeep phase, we will draw a card. Or hold up. Wait a minute. We actually did that backward. I mean, it's fine. Enemy phase, and then that upkeep phase, right? Yeah. It's fine. We just won't draw that card. Uh, we'll add a Doom, however, and draw an Encounter card, which is another um, can that be more than one of this? 
No, this is says I can't be more than one. Attach your location, then place two Doom in that location. Oof. Well, that's just, that's just bad. <laughs> that is just bad. That's exactly what that is. Um... What do I have the better chance of dealing with here? So I'll be a four, five, six to five if I shrivel him. I'll be a five to five if I use this. Shriveling, I guess I could discard this. I want to use keep this so I can maybe evade him and uh, get away this, this round as well. Maybe I just evade him and just worry about getting away. But I do kind of want to put a clue on him while I can. I mean, I'm not going to totally give up. Uh, yep, let's try and put a clue on him. So we're going to use Shriveling. Use the fight action on Shriveling. It's be a 4, 5, 6, uh, 7 to 5. Chaos Bag. That's a tablet, which is a minus three. Uh, I did not commit any skill cards, but that's fine. I still fail it. Uh, I think I'm going to... Oh, and I take a horror. I think I'm going to just go for it again. Four, five, six to five. That's a skull, so that's a minus three. That's a fail. And I'm taking horror because of the reaction on. Let's try to evade him. I'll be a four to three. Well, I'll at least evade him. Enemy phase, there are currently no readied enemies. Uh, upkeep phase, he will ready. I'll draw a card. Gain a resource. We'll add a doom. Doom threshold is just now back to even. So <laughs> literally it's like having zero uh, doom in play. This is, this is bad. This is really bad. And we'll draw an encounter card. Which is a Torturous Chords, and is a test of willpower of 5. If you fail, put Torturous Chords into play in your threat area. With one resource on it for each point you fail by, each time you play a card, increase the cost of that card by 1, and remove one resource from Torturous Chords. If it has no resources on it, discard it. So I'm a 4 to 5. I, I guess we'll just take it at that. So that puts me at 2, so it gets... Uh, three resources on it. Uh, I really don't know what to do anymore. I can't play that. This is sort of the way this has gone for me. Uh, sorry, I unplugged my laptop. This is basically the way this has gone for me just about every time I've... I've um, I mean, there's no reason to not try. Four, five, six to, six to five. Chaos bag. Oh, really? Uh, last try on this. Oh my god. And I shuffled it because there it shows. Um...
I mean, I guess at the end of the day, I just, you know, have saved myself a whole lot of time. Um, I I'm going to play it out just to see what happens. Uh, last action, I, I don't know. I was gonna play this, but I can't. I can't even hit him with that because I'm still. I'm a four to five, and I don't have anything to commit. Even if I happen to get the plus one or my, um, or the elder sign, which is, you know, what are the chances of that? Um. I'm going to just pass my last action. I really don't have anything else to do here. Uh, enemy phase, I will take uh, three horror. Upkeep phase, I will draw a card. There's a shortcut. And gain a resource. We'll add a doom. So we're basically we're at one doom! Draw an encounter card. Deadly fate. Uh, test willpower of three. Pardon me. So this is a four to four to three chaos bag. Uh, that's a fail. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Uh, screeching black. I'm gonna just leave it there in the discard pile and I'll let it attack me. And that's 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 it. I'm at. Uh, one damage and two horror. I'm at, I'm at nine. Yeah, uh, that's why I went ahead and I recorded this because I knew I'd done so many test playthroughs just to see how I would do. My biggest problem, I think, was was how I divvied up my conviction and doubt. And again, I was just playing the way I, I thought Norman would, would lean toward. Um... That might have been a bit of a mistake because this version of the organist is, is terrible. Uh, plus, uh, you know, the version of Act 1A that's that's accompanying it with it. Uh, or I guess that's how you get this version. Uh, the other version, uh, basically you chase them around and... Uh, and try and do damage, but he like runs away from you instead of running towards you. So, uh, yeah, if you saw that I made some kind of a mistake, let me know. But I don't think so. I think I played it clean and straight. And um, <coughs> regardless, I uh, died anyway. So, yeah, that's that. Um, as always, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below. If you want to contact me, I'm around most of the places, the Discord and the Reddit, as Jacques Steampunk. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.